Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to use the RCS version control system. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually here I will try to just make a brief introduction to the RCS which is a revision control system. So as you can see here I am on my desktop folder so let's let's just create a folder called test so i'll make a directory called desk so let's get inside this directory here and let's create just a simple text file so i will type just one line here hello world okay so let's create a file called for example readme here we go so if i list the content of this test directory i have only one file so in order to work with rcs we have to create a directory called rcs so let's create it so the directory should be in capitals letters so rcs here we go so now if i do list let's add some colors here so you can see that i have a file and i have a directory called rcs so let's see the content of that file so it's just one line hello world okay so in order to work with that file first i have to check in the file so the command is ci which stands for check in and i will unlock it and i have here to provide the name of the file which is readme okay so here we have to enter a description okay so the description actually just uh, let's say a readme file as this description readme file and of course i have to terminate it with one dot in uh, in one line okay here we go so we have created our first description here so what happens here if we go inside the directory that we have created rcs so let's see what's inside it rcs oh we have a file that has been created called readme comma v so let's see what is inside that file so we have a bunch of information we have here at the bottom actually our line hello world but here we have the date that was that we have made the modification to the file and the author which is chris okay so now we have just check in the file so in order to work with that file i have to check it out so the check it out command is co for check out and we add option here minus l in order to lock the file so the file will be locked so no one other than us will be working on that file so i here i have to provide the file name which is readme actually not test okay so now as you can see here the file is locked so now we can work with it so let's open it for example and then make some changes or modifications so i'll use vi for example here we go this is first update for example first update okay so let's save the file here we go so now we have made our modification to the file we have to check in it so to check in it in 
check in minus u to unlock it and of course we have to provide the name of our file which is readme so here instead of giving a description we have to enter a log message so we have made some updates so i will call the log message just update readme file enter and of course i have to terminate the message by a dot here we go so now we have revision 1.2 so we have finished actually the process okay so let's turn back to see the file that was created in rcs directory so now we have actually here you see the different revisions of our file so here at the bottom we have revision 1.1 1 .1, and here almost in the middle we have revision 1.2 okay so rcs actually provides some commands in order to deal with that so the first command that we can use is rlog so here I have to provide the file name which is readme so this command actually will will let us will let us view the log of our check ends so if I hit enter here you see that for revision that one it was initial revision and for revision one that two it's actually update readme file okay there is also another command that we can use in order to see the differences between the two revisions that we have is rcs diff and here i have to provide the revision for example 1.1 1 .1, and i compare it with the revision 1.2 and of course i have to provide the file name which is readme here we go here you can see the difference is just the line we have added which is this is first update okay we can also display or view any revision with the checkout command but here I have to provide which revision number I want so for example if I want to see just the revision 1.1 I have to provide it here minus r 1.1 1 .1, and the file name which is readme here we go so if you want to see a revision 1.2 same thing you have to change just the number here r 1.2 okay so here actually when i check it out with the revision i can cut it and see the, the content of the file so for example if i want to see the content of the file when it was on revision 1.1 i can just go to check out revision 1.1 so let me see normally it contains just one line so now if i check it for revision 1.2 if i see the contents normally now i will have two lines so this is the first update and this is hello world so so this is just the introduction to this very old revision control system so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye